Hello, everybody. Welcome to IGN. I'm Clint Gage. With me today, we've got Jamie Parslow, Francesca Rivera, and Jesse Gill. How are you guys doing? Good. We Good. Are great. Great. We have to talk about Tiger King. Obviously, it's it's one of the biggest things right now uh, on Netflix. Social media is it loves Tiger King. Frankly, it took me a second to get around to watching it, and now that now that we have, we have to talk about it. Not many redeeming characters uh, in this in this show. So one of the things, the thing I wanted to do today, let's talk about how bad they are. And in fact, let's try to narrow down the five worst people on Tiger King. This is not like a like a best to worst ranking. It's like a worst to least terrible ranking. I think let's think about it like that. Mm -hmm. So, cool. so let's just run down some of these people uh, that are that are on the show. So, uh, Francesca, is there anybody in particular you want to start with? I would start with Doc Antle. So Doc, Doc like Antle, who runs, uh, it's it's called Tigers. What, the Institute for Greatly Endangered and Rare Species. Is that what it is? It's like a regular old MCU shield. Almost exactly the same thing. <laughs> right. The private zoo equivalent of S.H.I.E.L.D. when Hydra was running it. Exactly. Uh, he has all these women. Um, he's writing in on elephants, which is not good. Just seeing that, I was like, this is not a good guy. The the way that they really snuck in the fact that he's running some type of sex cult was interesting. If they glossed over it probably more than they should, I think. Because that could probably be its own series all oh, by yeah. itself someone's yeah. gonna do a podcast just on that um but if you're if we're talking about the top five scumbags of this show i think he definitely has to be in the running for that final five can we talk about james garretson real quick the strip club owner who, who showed yes. up as some like extra cash but then also turned informant he at the beginning of this like the very beginning of the first episode there's a soundbite from him where he says he says something to the effect of like the big cat people or backstabbing pieces of He wound up being like the worst one because he was a yeah. total rat. He uh, was an actual back, he was an actual <laughs> informant. He totally flipped. Yeah. Jesse, who, do you have anybody you want to nominate for, for top five right off the bat? There are some obvious ones that are for sure going to make the list, but I mean, I have to throw Jeff Lowe in there. He's the guy who bought Joe Exotic's park and then yep. took it from him. And it seems like that's kind of how they described him in the show as this like masterful con man. That's probably what his end game was the whole time. So I think he's definitely up there because he now owns this. Whatever bad practices were happening at the park, he says that's all like not going to continue moving forward. But yeah, we'll see. Just based on the way he dresses, I think he makes the top five. I, if you if you're if you're I mean, look, I'm no fashion expert. I'm definitely mm -hmm. not that. But if you're tying a bandana underneath your flat build straight baseball hat, that's a red flag. So Jamie, how about you? Uh, well, I uh, because I'm from there, I'm going You're from to Florida. Pick, I'm from Tampa. Uh, Tampa. I'm gonna Got have it. to pick specifically. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to pick Carol. I think Carol is maybe not the worst worst, but definitely up there in terms of like shady dealings and not uh, truthful about what's happening or or even where she came from and how this all uh, came to be. Carol's journey was a pretty fascinating one because, yeah, at the, at the beginning it was like, oh, she's she's running the rescue or whatever. And then after maybe the first or second episode, where I was thinking like, well, she's just as bad as these other people because she's like under the guise of like she's rescuing all the big cats. So I was like, oh, she's actually worse because she's pretending right. to be something that she's not. And then the show continued <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, she killed her husband, maybe. <laughs> These are real people. You have to kind of take that into consideration. We have to actually say that these are real people. So we shouldn't talk about them <laughs> as if they're fictional characters. The way the documentary kind of presents her. Yeah, I think she killed her husband. <laughs> here's here's where we need to start sort of ordering these people if we're going to make a top five. So so between um, uh, Doc Antle, Jeff Lowe, James Garrison, where where does Carol rank among those guys? Before we answer that question, we have to talk we about it. I think Joe has to be at the top. Uh, uh, the way, at least the way that he's presented in this documentary, he seems like an utter sociopath. Like who has to, who probably should be in prison. Like I mean, they probably all are. Again, that's what this conversation is about. It's less of a conversation to me about which one is worse and which has the least amount of redeemable qualities. And I think sure he would be that guy for me. I think I would put Jeff first, then maybe Joe, and then. Uh, James, James Garrison, James mm. Third, and then um, Doc Antle, and then 
Carol Baskin. Carol, Carol Baskin's Baskin in fifth. In fifth. Could have murdered her de- her her husband. Absolutely. We oh, I know. So we, we haven't at, talked at minimum, about it. Jeff has not. Yeah. So he, what's what's your ranking then, Jamie? I put her on on on. Oof. I put her above Jeff. I wouldn't put her higher than Joe in any capacity. But uh, but Carol's lying, and I know she's lying. You can't trust her. I do think that she would be at the top of this list if it weren't for the fact that Joe's obsession was so complete that he actually tried to have her killed. The thing that puts Joe at the top for me is him trying to perform at his dead husband's funeral. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, like, that's like an evil Michael Scott moment. Joe, Carol, Doc, Jeff, Rick. So it's got to be Jeff, Joe, and Doc, I think, top three. Doc, I think, I, a lot of what makes Doc uh, are an insane person to, to look at got glossed over. I think I think we saw the tip of his terrible iceberg, and then uh, and then Carol for sure up there. Uh, as we know, as as far as again, as far as the way the documentary paints everyone, Carol's the only person on this list who successfully killed a person. <laughs> <laughs> if if we're to believe the press, if we're to believe what the documentary is, but she's got to be it, top three for that. I'm sorry. It is. So that look. I don't know that we nailed down a real specific top five. I don't know that we need to, frankly. Uh, they're all up there close to, they're tied for worst, let's be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, but let us know what you think uh, about Tiger King down in the comments below. Um, and what do you think about Tiger King? And all? Or do we need to get a season two? I don't, I don't know, that. We, but convince me otherwise down there in the comments. And for more Big Cats, subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.